Hello everybody, my name is Roy and um, I'm doing here my first tutorial about OpenEMU. As you all may know, it's an emulator for um, the Mac. It only works on a Mac, no uh, Windows, unfortunately. So if you are a Mac user, you definitely have to get this and you love the DS Nintendo games. Um, everything the playstation and the psp you know just don't be nervous or anything there are no viruses so just download it and it's gonna love it so at first i wanted to go to the open emu site it's openemu.org then you get to this page over here just don't have to look at anything but Way. Um, if you push this button right here to download now, you will get it a version with only the basic things like Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, and Game Gear, Nintendo DS. But as you may see, I have a lot more. Well, you're probably wondering right now how. Now you click on the arrow right here, and then you not choosing this one, not this one, but this one. Then if you click on it, I have already downloaded, so I'm not going to do it again. It will download immediately. Then when you have downloaded, you will get to this page without any games. I have two games right now, and I haven't played them. <laughs> but yeah, I just downloaded it, and on I thought maybe I should do a tutorial about it and start this YouTube thing. Um, okay, so then of course you're wondering where do I get the um, DS games or whatever which game you want to play. Okay, we go to, I, I usually prefer romhustle.net. Um, everyone uses a cool game, I don't know, cool rom, cool, cool rom, I thought it was. But um, it does not work anymore. So if you're watching a tutorial from like three years ago or four years ago, and you go to the site like Cool Rom, and then you're like, "Hey, why isn't it working?" So I found this site, and it's still working perfectly. If you're watching this in 2015, <laughs> um, then. You can see you have the popular games and stuff, but I will go to the Game Boy Advance. Like here, you can see which emulator you are using and which game you want to have. And here, you can search for anything, and also here, choose your emulator. Then, uh, we will download Emeralds it's an amazing game I seriously love it and you would just click on the emeralds and then you click on click here to download and it would download immediately as you can see it says two, seven eight now two minutes weird um, I have also another site it's emu paradise dot me um, it's this site and it also has some latest for a lot as you can see, these are the, um, this one are for the computer as well. So, and cell phones and whatever. And then you go to Nintendo DS or whatever emulator you are using, whatever you want a game for. Um, do I have more Nintendo D Game Boy Colors? It's amazing, just everything is amazing. But okay, and then you click on something about. Download the game. It's not that game. It just it's weird. Let me just if I have and download. And then you have to, oh, where it is. This uh, yellow download button. You click on it, and then it will download immediately. As you can see, the Emerald version. Done with downloading, so I just drag it to my desktop because it's the easiest way, I think. And this is a, a Game Boy Advance, so you have to look for Game Boy Advance, but you can also go.
go to all games and then just drag it in and it will go to the em emulator immediately like here it has its um, picture of the game and this on north and on uh, I don't like it I, I, I love this you, you see immediately which game it is so it's something I love right now these are not doing their job but okay and I will show you how emulator works as I already said it's only for the Mac um, you just double click um, again then it will play um, you have to figure out the controls all by yourself it's very complicated yeah it's not complicated but it will take a long time to oh yeah it's not touch screen I'm still figuring everything out. So, okay, um, we are here. I just paused the game for a bit, and it's how sorry to keep blah 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 blah. I don't know if I would was gonna say, but um, I will tell you what these all these buttons means. I think this one is obvious. It's pause and play. Uh, this one's of this too, it's stop, uh, it's restart, uh, don't push this button if you haven't saved the game like what I'm doing right now, it's just save current game and it will save and then here's saved game uh, to 2005, 15, it's saying the date and time and everything, then here you have um, options and you can edit game controls act cheats select call if you want a visual boy a french order hagen hagen i do not know how you pronounce it or select a filter what i always do uh, when i'm playing the game boy of fans because oh no not this one ah where's my filter Ah, oh, it was not this one. Which one was it? Yes, this one was it. It's more, I think it's smoother with iOS using this one. I just totally forgot which one I used. Uh, here you can um, yes, see if you want it very loud or not. If you play music, music behind the game, what you can do, you just drag it over. I just leave it here and then I just quit the game and ask if you want to stop and then it's like, yes I want to stop. This game is also finished and now I can do a drag again and then I just throw it in. And then I always delete this one because those are not necessary anymore. And then here I have the other game. So that's how it works and right now you're probably wondering how I figured all the buttons out so you can go to here it says open in and then you go to preference or you put your comment and then you go to your controls and then you select which emulator you need to know your controls of so I just uh, Jack to Nintendo DS, you see in here, but it's not just exactly the right one I have at home. <laughs> you can also choose um, the players, how many players are playing on the your MacBook with this emulator. And here, so up, down, left, right, these are the A, B, X, and Y buttons. Then you have the left trigger, right trigger, these are the buttons right there. They start, select, lit and mic and I'm, I'm always changing the mic because when you have a game we have to use the mic and that button right there where it showed <laughs> does not work at my game or something so just use this one and this one per works perfectly. Uh, you can also choose whatever, I do not know what that means. <laughs> 
And then you have, of course, the Game Boy Advance. And you can also see here what I've done. That was it for this tutorial. Um, if you have any questions, just ask me on the comments down below and I will respond as soon as possible. Um, if you thought this tutorial is helpful, then please give a thumbs up. If you have any questions, like I said, just ask and don't forget to subscribe.